Welcome back to some more Let's Play Trauma Team. When we last left off, we began the diagnostics of our son Joshua, or Gabriel's son Joshua. It looks like him too. Let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Just to be safe, let's finish examining you. Stethoscope. That's normal. Left lung. Heart. Right lung. Yeah, he he seems to be fine. We'll see the EKG. Normal. It's the normal EKG. This is his. It looks fine to me. What in the heck? He doesn't have a single symptom I can find. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just a cough. Huh? That looked rather strenuous. But it's just a cough? Groaning. The patient's hiding something. I'm continuing the exam. <laughs> Understood. Proceeding with the diagnosis examination. Hmm. Try the stethoscope. There we go. What the hell? No, go back to the fucking stethoscope. There we go. The boy's breathing pretty rapidly. Roni, make a note of it. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Rapid breathing. Alright. His heartbeat's going fast. Hmm. His heart rate's increased. Is this a symptom? Roni, record this. I think this is a definite sign. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Increased heart rate. Tachycardia. Alright. Yeah, I wouldn't think nothing's wrong with this stomach. It seems that earlier attack is causing symptoms to appear. <laughs> there it is again. There's no mistake about it. Hmm? Hey, show me the hand you covered your mouth with right now. Huh? It's nothing. Come on. Jeez. This kid's gonna try and hide as much as he can from me, huh? I need to see what's on his hand. Need to get him to use his hands. What can I do? Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. No. Hold up your shirt for me. Hmm. Hmm. It's nothing seem to be here, huh? This. Yeah, you can lower your shirt now. It's just a precaution. But looky here. Blood on his clothes. He still had blood on 
his hand when he lifted his clothes up. The boy coughed up blood a moment ago. He tried to hide it. Roni, make a note that the patient has hematemesis. Understood. New symptom observed. Hematemesis. <laughs> Hey, kid, why are you trying to hide your symptoms from me? Well, why would you say that? I know you coughed up blood earlier. It's on your clothing. Oh, <laughs> it's just some blood. I'm full of this. <laughs> I'm full of the stuff. <sighs> Seriously, who do you inherit this attitude? He probably got it from you. Well, we're done talking. I need you to undergo a few tests for me. Roni, get approval for an x-ray. Yes, doctor. The x-ray examination is now available. Alright, let's go take a look at that essay. That essay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, All right, let's take a look. Oh, I hate this part. seems abnormal about this pig. Ah, I see it. It's right here. There's a cave-in in the gastric wall. Cave-in in the gastric wall. That sounds so nasty. Well, this is definitely proof. You can't make excuses anymore. New symptom observed. Cave-in gastric wall. See if there's anything more in here. Don't see anything. Okay. Don't see anything here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. Nope, I don't see anything. That's probably it then. Why not informing the patients? No. Okay. Alright. Let's go back to the exam room. I have proof that there's something wrong with your stomach. You ready to talk now? <sighs> Come on. Stomach aches. Hmm. So he does have stomach aches. What an idiot. I bet they hurt a whole lot too. Well, Roni, he's finally coming clean with us. You writing all this down? Yes. New symptom observed. Stomach ache. Yeah, I don't feel like eating when it hurts. A lot of stuff. Stomach's condition. I'm not surprised. Roni, make a note. New symptom observed. Lack of appetite. Everyone keeps making a fuss about it, but it's nothing. Really, doctor, I'm okay. Seriously. Come on, kid. All right. Now, is there anything else you're hiding? This is your chance. I'm not hiding anything. I really am okay. Man, little runt. Time to go back to the office and continue with the diagnosis. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jot some jot some down. Well, we have at least a few symptoms to work with, Roni. Let's start narrowing things down. Understood, doctor. Displaying diagnosis candidates. <laughs> Malignant lung tumor is probably something with his stomach, so malignant stomach tumor. The condition in which the balance of acids and protective mucus of the gastric wall is lost, causing acids to damage the gastric wall. Symptoms include increased heart rate, 
rapid breathing, hematemesis, stomach ache, lack of appetite. An x-ray will show a caved-in gastric wall. A tissue test at the Lesian site will confirm the presence of the malignant tumor cells. We'll try malignant lung tumor. In condition, in which malignant tumors have formed in the lungs, cause coughing, chest pain, hematemesis, and tumor shadow. What? Okay, what did I put in there? Hematemesis. Okay, I probably picked the, the thing. Alright, that's not it. A gastric ulcer. Balance the gastric walls loss. Okay. Increased heart rate, hematemesis, rapid breathing, stomach aches, and loss of appetite. Show a caved in gastric wall. Oh! That's it? Okay. Gastric ulcer. Is it a gastric ulcer? That's hot. Joshua already had endoscopic surgery recently. There's gotta be a reason for the relapse. Roni, let's continue with the diagnosis. Yes, Doctor. Send the request to continue diagnosis. Something's wrong. The ulcers have returned. I anticipate there is an underlying disease, Doctor. Yeah, I just hope there's no other complications. That would be very beneficial, Doctor. Should we begin? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Phase two of the diagnosis. You're having a relapse of gastric ulcers, which I'm guessing hurts a lot. Why do you keep trying to hide your symptoms from me? There's nothing wrong with me. I really didn't notice it. Just stop it. There's no way you're all right. <laughs> now listen to me. I don't know why you're pretending to be fine, and I don't care why. But the more you keep this up, the more you make everyone around you worry about you. But... Whoa, there's no need to explain. If you don't want to talk about it, then that's fine. I've gotten permission from Lisa. Uh, I, I mean your mother, already. Roni, get the examinations ready. If he's not going to talk, then I'll find out myself. Understood. Doctor, please calm down. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Sorry. The X-ray, CT, and analysis exams are now available. Okay. You gotta calm down, bro. We got this. We'll figure out what's wrong with your son. Blood pressure is normal. Cell is normal. Wait, that's normal. Protein's normal. That is normal. That is normal. That is normal. That is super normal. Normal, normal, normal. You're good. You are good. You're good. Whoa. No, you are not good. Hmm. Serum amylase seems unusually high. Roni, add that to our list. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High serum amylase level. Serum lipase is not good as well. Serum lipase level is a bit higher than I'd like it to be. Roni, record that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High serum lipase level. This calcium's fine, though. Phosphorus. You're good. You're barely good. You are fine. You are not fine. Oh my gosh. His elastase level is elevated. Crony, you got that? Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High elastase level. Okay. You're fine. Alright, the rest of it's good. Alright, let's go take a look at these exams. X-ray and a CT. Should 
shadows. Abnormal bowel gas. Ugh, it sounds so gross. Alright, CT scan. I have good eyes, but this is kind of getting to me here. I don't see nothing there either. I see. Yeah. Well, this isn't normal. This pancreas is swollen. Roni, make a note of it. New symptom observed. Swollen pancreas. Alright, let's... Hmm. We've got a lot more to go off of now. Doctor, we need the patient's cooperation for any further examinations. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's go talk to him. Alright, let's go talk. Let's have a chat. Well, I, uh, I may have been a bit harsh earlier. I wasn't being professional. But you also... Doctor. I, I know. <clears throat> Just be quiet. Anyways, I want to cure you completely, and... Everyone is worried about you. Uh, Joshua, will you please cooperate with the exams? Sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. It, uh, it's all right. It, it, don't, don't cry. But it's all my fault. I didn't want my mom or that nurse to worry about me. Uh. Joshua. I'm really sorry. I just made everyone worry even more. I... I won't hide anything anymore. I want to get out of this hospital. So... Please. Yeah. I understand. Um... Actually, my tummy feels a little weird. Can you check it out, Doctor? Of course. Leave it to me. Roni, are you ready? Yes, Doctor. I am fully prepared. All right. Let's continue. Let's do this. Um, I'm sorry that I lied all this time. It's not just my tummy. My back's been starting to... Back pains, really? Back pains. This condition must be getting worse. Roni, make a note. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Back pains. It doesn't hurt so much that I can't bear it, but it hurts a lot. Also, I don't feel well. I feel like I'm gonna throw up in a minute. Nausea. Feels like he's going to vomit, huh? Sounds like he's finally telling the truth about something. Roni, this is important. New symptom observed. Nausea. I'll tell you right away, Doctor. Look at that smile. That shit eating smile. <laughs> I'll throw you sure for a second. Oh my gosh! Hemorrhaging spots near the navel. Roni, write that down. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Blood spots near navel. 
Hemorrhaging in the navel. Hemorrhaging there. Hemorrhaging spots on the left side of his abdomen. Roni, put that in his record. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Blood spots on left of abdomen. That should do it. Go ahead and uh Well, we have his symptoms. Roni, let's narrow down our diagnosis. Understood, Doctor. I'll get things ready. I should do everything. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go some let's go over this. <sighs> Bilary in fact infection. A condition that causes various symptoms due to a stone forming in the bilary tract. Severe stomach pains. I don't see <laughs> fever, nausea. No, there's no fever. At all, I don't think. Lack of appetite, abdominal bloating. Yeah, I don't think this is it. All right, chronic pancreatitis. A condition in which the pancreas becomes a condition conditionally inflamed for a long period of time, causing judgmental effects on the pancreas. Its abilities causes back pain and nausea. Blood analysis will serum amylus lipus elastase clarification in the pancreas and a uh, due to inflammation inflammation Acute pancreatitis, a condition in which the pancreas becomes digested due to activation of pancreas enzymes, back pain and nausea, a blood spots near the navel and the left abdomen, high serum amylus, lipus, and elastis, abnormal bowel gas, and a swollen pancreas. Diagnose. Acute pancreatitis, but I find it hard to believe this could have caused the relapse of his gastric ulcers. Damn it. There's still something else. Browning, I'm continuing with the diagnosis. We're not done yet. Indeed, Doctor. I will follow your lead. Acute pancreatitis? That can't be the primary disease. It is plausible the chief illness caused it. Like the ulcers. Uh, what in the heck's going on? We can only hope our examination will answer that, Doctor. <sighs> yeah. I hate dealing with all these complications. Part three. Let's get started. Um. So, have you figured out what's wrong with me, Doctor? It's going to take a little longer. We need to keep examining you. But is your body all right? It still hurts a little. But you're gonna fix me soon, right? That's right. Now hang in there. But if it gets too much to handle, you tell us right away, okay? Okay, I promise. All right, let's resume with the diagnosis. But before that, we're gonna end the episode and we're gonna continue it in the next one, all right? So, in the next episode, we are going to finish, hopefully, the diagnosis of our son, Joshua Cunningham, all right? See you guys next time.